Hello everyone, welcome back to the weekly video. Right, let's take a look at the um, index and then we'll be going into the uh, individual stocks that was highlighted in the email. So as of now at uh, close to 10 a.m. Okay, so we are looking at the STI open higher and uh, closing lower, going into the negative region. Okay, so last night the US market was uh, very hot and S&P 500 hit record high, close at record high, almost 5,000 points already. Uh, seems like there are some profit taking activities since uh, morning after it opened up higher, the market uh, sold down. But overall, if you look at the uh, condition of the market, it is still uh, in a sideway. So you can see the uh, resistance now is already shipped up to uh, 3192. So previously it was 3167. So because of this high, so we have uh, raised up the bar. So I've raised up the bar to uh, look at 3192. So if the SDI is going to uh, break up from this sideways, it has to cross 3192 right now. Then uh, 3125 remain as the uh, major uh, support to look at. Now, if the index were to uh, come down to hit 3125, it will be a bad news because it will form a lower high over here. <clears throat> so just uh, plot for your information. So now we don't want the index to come to here because uh, if it does so, it will uh, form a lower high where the trend will uh, start to go lower. Okay, or hinting to go lower, especially if we were to break this major support at 3125. So what we need is the SDI to uh, remain bullish and to do so, right, at least it must uh, hover around this range and then go to its resistance and then break up from this whole zone in order to uh, be bullish and uh, we have chinese new year very uh, soon so tomorrow will be half day trading and then followed by uh, monday close and then we'll resume on tuesday for the local market for the singapore market so let's see how sti close so if sti can close up to 3164 it will be a uh, sign of strength and then uh, we have a chance for it to uh, move higher after that Okay, let's look at Hang Seng. After the uh, the China government uh, step out on uh, coming down the uh, shorties, uh, the Hang Seng were, uh, did rally up to uh, hit the resistance over here. And it is at this resistance, okay, it start to struggle as uh, it uh, went up, test the level and then closed lower. So now we can see some recovery after an early scare. So the... Uh, Index opened lower and traded lower for a moment and now it's trying to recover. So let's see whether the index can uh, break out above this resistance uh, again. Right, uh, try to uh, break up this resistance and close above this resistance so that it can go into the, uh, or go and test the upper line of the downtrend channel. And um, well, I, I do not have a, a, a huge expectation on Hang Seng for it to go on a long-term uptrend. So it will probably still uh, go for short-term uptrend, swing up and down, and then uh, um, start to go down if fundamentally there's nothing changed. Okay, so the fundamental issue like the property market, like the tech sector cram down, all this has to change in order for the investor to restore confidence and uh, start to uh, relook into uh, the China market again. So until then, uh, we shall see uh, what's, how far Hang Seng can uh, bring itself to. Like I mentioned, S&P 500 hit all-time high and uh, the ascending triangle I mentioned last week hit the projected target and now it's exceeded the target after the pullback. So... Uh, now it's at all time high, the sky is the limit. So let's see how the uh, earnings, uh, upcoming earnings can help to power S&P 500 to uh, uh, the, the, the level that uh, we have never seen before again. Okay, so last night was close to 5,000 point and uh, would it uh, continue higher to 5,100 or 5,200 points? So this one remains to be seen. So up until now, what you can do is enjoy the uptrend, ride the trend as high as possible until uh, it ends, okay? Now, uh, let's go for individual stocks here. So we shall uh, take a look at the email, uh, what was mentioned. So we have UMS, Geo Energy, Franken, 
BBS IFAS, Venture, Sankot Industry, and UOB. So uh, let's take a look at U UMS and Joe Energy right now. So UMS, after done the placement, uh, remains in trading above its uptrend line. And uh, it really needs to uh, cross above 134 in order to go back to its resistance where uh, it hit 1.41 the other day. Okay. So uh, we shall uh, watch closely on the uptrend line because if you close below this uptrend line and come back towards 126 level, it would potentially turn into a downtrending uh, movement as uh, we have a lower high already if you come back to 126. So keep an eye if today's closing is at 1.34, it will be a stronger sign that uh, the stocks can hit 1.41 uh, resistance eventually. Then we have Joe Energy. So Joe Energy since uh, posted over here. So we talk about Joe Energy here. Uh, it has uh, gone up leaps and bounds. So it has exceeded the target at 40 and a half and now trading at 41, 41 and a half. Okay, so uh, it has hit the profit target. So on time on target, you can uh, realize your profit uh, one by one and have a good Chinese New Year ahead. And then uh, we have uh, DBS. So DBS uh, was highlighted here where uh, there was an opportunity for it to break up. But uh, before you break up, you actually pull back two days uh, suggesting a uh, you know weakness. But uh, after the result came out on this particular day, Right, it shows that uh, the company is still doing very well and therefore the share price is heading towards the uh, resistance at uh, this uh, 32.86. Okay, so uh, just in case uh, you wonder, you do not receive the email, I just uh, let me just open up the email for you to see. So uh, first post the DBS at this particular day where we're anticipating a uh, retest of resistance at 32. 0.86 okay then uh, after that the update uh, mentioned that despite dbs was going down right technically the bank uh, still have a chance to uh, move up so it is a crucial junction uh, or juncture for that uh, counter uh, unfortunately the next day it, it actually went down Okay, but the thing is that it did not break the support, so that provides a, a strong uh, confidence for the stocks before the result announcement. And then uh, you can see uh, now we are into profit, so let's see where uh, DBS can uh, go to. So the resistance at uh, 33.65 will be the ultimate target. Lah. So DBS is going to give a, a very good dividend at 0. Point uh, five four, and then uh, we have uh, this uh, a bonus issue coming up as well. So that excited the market a lot. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, Franken. So Franken um had the uh. Been trading in the range over here from 129 to 134, where it we managed to uh, make a mini rebound from this downtrend line. And uh, currently it still cannot uh, pick up its momentum to go back to its resistance around here. Okay, so its resistance at uh, 1.44 uh, needs to be uh, retested if uh, it's going to be uh, bullish, okay. Uh, but first thing first is that the counter must break away from this um, high at 1.34, close above 1.35 or close above 1.34, close at 1.35, 1.36. Then it has an increased chance to go to 1.44. And note that uh, the counter consolidated uh, with a declining volume. So uh, we shall watch what happened. 
And uh, of course, uh, it's always good if you're bullish, if the stocks were to close higher, it suggests a uh, more buying pressure. So if uh, there is more buying pressure, the counter should be able to close at 133 today and then uh, looking forward for more follow-through buying towards uh, a breakout at 134, then after that 144. Venture... Venture was a um was uh, on a sideway trying to go up as it breaks up from its resistance. So if this breakout is successful, which apparently it was yesterday, but it cannot uh, whip into the uh this resistance again. So you can see the whole sideway over here. So preferably not to uh, go back down below 13 1398 to go back into this sideway which may uh, risk going back into sideway so if it wants to go into uptrend it should uh, be continuing higher towards this next resistance uh, probably around 1479 okay so uh, uh, venture has the chance to do so right? and a good closing today will help the counter then uh, next Next, uh, Sankar Industry. Okay, so Sankar Industry was at the support over here at 5.55. And then uh, we are looking at... The counter still uh, trying to hold at that level. And... Uh, uh, has to uh, really show some sign of bullishness by closing at uh, at, at least 5.66 so that uh, it has uh, a higher chance to continue higher okay um currently it it doesn't show any strength as uh, we can see it is go going lower at 5.54 and uh, the headache will be uh, if it goes below 5.50 where it may uh, suggest a uh, more bearishness than bullishness. So keep a close eye at this support level at 5.55. And then uh, we have UOB. So following the success of uh, DBS, right, UOB um, also had a trend line that is uh, suggesting that the stocks can uh, continue to move higher. And what we see here is that if it can uh, come back above uh, 2874, break up from there, then uh, it can uh, suggest more bullishness. So uh, the, the imminent thing is that it can hold at this uh, support level, right, this uptrend support level, and then uh, close higher, then the break up, then go higher towards uh, $29. Right, 2933. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's it for me this week. I'll see you uh, again next week. Have a good day and uh, goodbye.